shit is cat. Pull up on them real rough like where the energy at. I shot you, I robbed you, and y'all ain't do. So I ended up taking today off to go look at a boat. We're trying to buy a family boat. And so it's all the way, the boat is all the way across on the west side of Florida and in Bradenton. So it's gonna be a hell of a drive. It's gonna be three hours to get there, three hours back, plus, you know, test driving and everything else. So I'm looking at an eight hour day. So I took the day off. Um, the guy doesn't get back from work until about three o'clock. So, I'm trying to get there somewhere around three. I can't wait to get a boat. I'm excited. You guys excited? Yeah. Not really. Not really? No, I'm scared. We about to be yachting. Let's go yachting. The boat I'm going to look at is a 22 foot boat. Um, it's a center console. It looks really nice. It looks pretty, pretty big. It should fit our whole family. So I stopped by the post office on our way out for our trip and of course they see like where the buses all get parked and they wanted to go in there and see if their bus was in there so we searched the whole parking lot to find their bus. Johnny, so yesterday, what did you ask me about the money? He wanted to know if I give it to him, is he supposed to give me money back? I think he's thinking of like a store, like where the cat, like where. Like you get change back? Yeah. Yeah, so yesterday he was wondering, he kept asking me, he was trying to figure out um, if the guys, once I give him the money, will I get money back? you know, for the boat. And I'm like, no, I'm gonna give him the money and then we're gonna get the boat. He said, so the boat is the money? I said, yeah, once we trade it, that will be where the money is. It replaces the money. We get a boat and we'll always have the value of the money in the boat. So we can always go ahead and resell the boat for our money back. So it was a, it was a financial lesson, 101. It was a two-stroke motor, but she was purring like a kitten. And then there was a bigger boat. see here that we had a storm coming in and it was looking wicked so we were trying to hurry up and get back before we had got rained on bro boats are meant to be on water not land so the west coast of Florida is beautiful but it's nothing like you know the East Coast there's no place like home me and the kids were just doing a little bit of sightseeing before we headed home with our new toy. Oh, shit, we about to have a whole lot of content with the boat now. But, um, and we got it for 13 grand. It's a 22 and a half foot pro line. I mean, this boat is worth all of 20 grand. You know, he put it, he marked it down just because of the fuel tank. It's the only reason why he marked it down so much. 
But the fuel tank, honestly, isn't a problem for somebody like me. You know, if I wanted to go across the, you know, to the Bahamas, I would have to put a bigger fuel tank that's on the deck. But as for what we're trying to do, that's plenty of fuel. You know, we'll bring some extra gas cans just in case. So, I mean, it's a great deal. I cannot complain. It was getting crazy late. So it was like 930 by the time we got home. But the following day, of course, we went out there. You know, I got it set up where I wanted it. Started pressure washing it getting it all clean because of course the love bugs were all over this thing hey guys don't forget to subscribe